exercise is called a blind contour. So the idea is you keep your um, pencil or pen on the paper and you don't lift it. And you look at yourself in a mirror and you follow every contour of your face that you can, that you can see. So you can start with your hairline and move your eye all around your face in around your jaw around your ears back inside into your eyes just keep following all the contours of your face you can find um, but you are not going to be um, looking at your page your eye and your pen are going to be connected so if your eye is going along this way then your pen is moving at the same time now you'll end up having some kind of weird looking Picasso drawings, but the whole point of this exercise is for you to slow down your observational time and really observe. Really, that's what the whole idea is. It's not about making a pretty picture, it's about slowing down everything you see. Because usually with, uh, uh, with the way our brains work, we draw what we think we see, not what we actually see. Most people, when they're drawing people, they draw themselves without even realizing it. Um, but that's another story for another time. So let's do a demonstration here for you to see what I mean. So I'm going to look at myself in this really big, awkward mirror. <laughs> it's the only one I had in the studio. Okay. I'm going to start with my hairline. This is inside my hair inside part of my hair. It's my eyebrow and I go back down to my hairline, come in, do one eye. I might move over to where my nose is. Thing is you might forget where you are but it doesn't matter just go around twice if you have to it's a really heavy mirror got a wrinkle there Move to the side here. To the outside of my hair. Let's go really slow. There's no rush. Now on the outside of my face, my jawline, and I'm doing my ear. And I'm going back to my jaw. I'm going to do the inside of my hair here. I'm going to go back again. And then I'm going to go in and do my mouth. I have no idea where it's going. Okay, I did lift just for the outside of that hair. And then that's it. And there I am. But if you look at this drawing, you'll see how slowly this, these things were observed. When people do this in my class, I can see who's truly observed and who's just gone whoosh right around the face. So I would do heaps and heaps of these. I would do, you know, one a night until the next lesson. Um, I would do them like, I did a blind contour for a night for a month and um, my drawing really improved. So if you get tired of looking at yourself, you can um, look at other people, you can look at people in magazines and do blind contours of them.
Today's lesson. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.